Hello, today we're going to discuss uh, various proofs of the area of a circle. Uh, just a second. Install later. There we go. And we're going to discuss the proofs, uh, various proofs of the area of a circle, one using geometry and the other using calculus. Um, I want to say for my regular subscribers that I am going to be taking a little break for a while as of the date that you see the video uploaded on the screen to take care of some things. Um, I don't know when or if I'll be back. Um, definitely, I, uh, if I continue with this channel, it will be, you know, more fun stuff on probably mostly on mathematics at this point. If I do not, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope that you'll continue to comment on the various uh, videos as you as you uh, get new thoughts, particularly my ones on the continuum hypothesis, on math, and on philosophy. I want to say to uh, Secular Opinion, if you felt defended in any way by my tinfoil hat comment on the last video, it was intended in good fun um, and a little gentle ribbing. I have great respect for the work that you do uh, in terms of promoting science and reason. And um, yeah, best best of luck and, and uh, yeah, thanks for your courage and everything that you've been doing. So um, anyways, let's jump into uh, the, the proof of the um, area of a circle. Um, let me explain myself here. Each B would be the base of a given triangle. Now these are supposed to be six um, equilateral triangles that are uh, inscribed in a circle. They're not drawn very well, but this is the height of, of a given triangle and this is the base. And the area of, the, of that part of the circle inscribed by the triangles would be 6BH over 2. Now you can see very clearly that each triangle would be base times height over 2 multiplied by 6. Or I wrote here 3BH, but, you know, it's, it's not really the point here. As we add more triangles, let's say instead of 6, we have 8, and then we have 10, and then we have, well, we just have a symmetrical number of triangles uh, from top and bottom, make it easy. And going to infinity, we're eventually going to get the circle. Okay, so 6B will become the circumference of the circle as we, well, it won't be 6... It'll be 8B, 10B, 12B, 14B, but you understand my point. It's going to become the circumference of the circle. And then the height will become further and further away from the origin and become the radius. And so eventually we're going to get A is, is equal to circumference times the radius over 2 as we um, continue along toward the limit of infinity. Now you notice here that circumference is equal to uh, 2 pi r. Now that's given, okay? In other words, that's, um, I start off with that 2 pi r as a given. I don't prove that because that's embedded in the definition of pi coming from the ancient Greeks, okay? So uh, there we don't, we, we and, and whatever the value of pi is is what it is. It's been proven to be irrational and transcendental, but uh, the Greeks not only didn't know that, but they fought that tooth and nail. And so there again, if we plug in 2 pi r for c, we get a is equal to 2 pi r times r over 2, uh, or pi r squared. Okay, now there's something a little bit un... There we go. Unsatisfying about that. That doesn't... That just, yeah, it doesn't quite cut it, you know? It, it, it just... You're saying ch is true, um, and then it just doesn't quite cut it as a really good proof of uh, the formula for the area of a circle. So let's let's hop into a little bit of calculus here. Uh, once again, c is equal to 2 pi r. We're going to treat that as a given. Okay, we're not, we're not going to prove that for our purposes here. We're going to start off with that as an assumption. We're going to use a shell method. Starting from the origin of the circle, going out to r, uh, various lengths, various circles, and each circle has the radius of length l. Okay, meaning length. Okay. And so we're going to be having an infinite number of circles from the origin out to the circumference. And each has length of L. Okay, so C is equal to 2 pi R. Now A in this scenario is going to be equal to the aggregate of all of our circumferences. In other words, it's going to be, um, it, literally you think of each shell as having a circumference. 
And as you add all the circumferences together, you get the area of the circle, right? It's like as if you had an infinite number of eggshells. Well, that'd be three-dimensional, but let's say you have the infinite number of the surfaces of a sphere starting from a point in the middle of the sphere going all the way out. And, it's, and what you'll actually have is the volume of the sphere uh, with an infinite number of the surface areas of a sphere. Uh, let's not get into Georg Cantor and some of the possible paradoxes around that. I don't think calculus, the discipline of calculus, really would recognize that. Um, that's for the other videos. Okay, so we're, we're going to kind of treat that as though it doesn't exist for purposes of calculus. Um, so A is equal to, to, again, we're dealing with a flat surface now, and A is equal to the sum of all of the circumferences of, of the circles radiating out from the origin going to the the um, very last circle there out at radius equals r. So it's going to be equal to 2 pi r times the integration from 0 to r of L dl. Okay, and L being again our individual lengths between 0 and r. Um, when that's going to be equal to... Now, um, the you know, I skipped the step here where I should have um, had L squared uh, over 2 from R to 0. I apologize for that. I just kind of skipped the step there, so my mistake on that. But that's going to be equal to 2 pi times R squared over 2, okay, which would be this integration. And then the 2's cancel, um, the numerator and the denominator, and that's going to be equal to pi R squared. So we've... Um, We've, that actually, that second one's the more rigorous proof. Um, anyway, that's my, my goodbye gift if this is the last video. I don't intend for it to be, but if it is, uh, I appreciate all my subscribers and don't want you to go away. I want you to stick around for uh, other videos to come. They're going to probably be on the subject of mathematics. Um, and I'm not going to do as much philosophy or anything like that, but I want to say for the record that this has been a really, really good year as far as videos are concerned. Now, I have to take a little time away to take care of some personal business, but this has been a really, really good year. Uh, a lot of new subscribers as of late, and I don't want to disappoint you by ending all videos forever. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to call this a break, and we'll see when I'm able to get back to it. Might be a couple of months. Might not sure when, but stick around. And uh, yeah, comment on the videos. Um, suggest topics for when I get back. It's gonna, we're gonna keep this within mathematics. I might go back to a little bit of set theory um, as the inspiration arises. Uh, perhaps a little bit of philosophy. Um, by the way, I wanna give special thanks to those who've disagreed. And those who've disagreed, but who've posted anyway. Um, yeah, you, you've been great. I think most of you have argued on the basis of ideas and not personal attack, and I, I, I appreciate it. And once again, to uh, Secular Opinion and others, um, a, a great, and to other people, uh, a great thank you. And um, also thanks to those who've responded to my videos, um, including people who with whom I've disagreed. And uh, yeah, take care and all the best.